the thing, like, I gotta go to the gym. I gotta take better care of myself, you know? Because when I die, I wanna be cremated. And if they cremate me like this, that's just gonna be one big grease fire, okay? <laughs> Yeah. They cremate me like this, the urn that's gonna hold my ashes, that's gonna need pallbearers, okay? <laughs> I, I joined the gym, I joined the gym, I got a personal trainer, that didn't work, he just kept gaslighting me the entire time. You know? He'd tell me like, give me a set of push-ups, and he'd count down, three, two, one, now give me another set of push-ups. Liar. <laughs> I didn't develop any muscle tone, I just developed trust issues. <laughs> I joined the group class, I took cardio kickboxing, you know, because that's the closest I could get to martial arts, you know, because I took martial arts as a kid, big surprise, right, you know, that messed with my head, that was, it was a lot of fun, but it messed with my head, because now I can't get into a fight unless I hear a disco beat in the background, I had to stop, I had to stop, I tried something else, I bought a bike, I bought a new bike, bicycling's supposed to be great, thank you, thank you, here's the problem, guys, I made a mistake, I bought one of those $40 Walmart pieces of trash, okay? Like, this bike was so bad, I rode it up the Santa Ana River past that homeless encampment, they offered me spare change, okay? I left that bike locked, and, you know, unlocked on my front porch one night, you know, it got stolen, next day it came back with a $20 bill taped to it. It's terrible. I tried this new diet, it's very socially woke, it's very progressive, I like it a lot, it's called Stop Asian Weight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just my grandma calling me fat and a disappointment to the family. Okay? <laughs> Speaking of my family, um, my mom, let me tell you about my parents really quickly. My mom is a psychiatrist. My dad sells commercial real estate. That means ever since I was a little kid, I've always had a lot on my mind. <laughs> My mom, my mom's always been good to me. It's, it wasn't always easy having a psychiatrist for a mom, though, you know? Like, it hurt extra when she called me crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was her professional opinion, okay? <laughs> On the plus side, Halloween was always fun. She always made sure I was happy for Halloween. She always made sure my siblings were happy. My sister got her favorite candy, the Kit Kats. My brother got his favorite, the Nessie Crunch. I always got, um, what are they called? They're small, they're crunchy. Prozax, Prozax, that's what I got. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, there's some, there's problems though. Like, there, I, could, I, I could talk to my mom about almost anything. The keyword is almost. I did not want to talk to my mom about my Oedipus complex. <laughs> For those of you wondering, an Oedipus complex is like when you're a kid in high school and you have a crush on your teacher, except you're homeschooled. <laughs> An Oedipus complex is like when you want to follow in your dad's footsteps. <laughs> Into the bedroom. I want to leave you guys on a really positive good note. I told you a lot of good things happened to me. This is the happiest thing. I'm almost done paying off my mortgage, guys. Here's the thing, my, the, the agent that told me made a mistake, he told me there's a rule in California guys, if someone died on the premises within the last three years, you have to disclose that to the buyer. Yes, yes. yeah, you know this. Here's the thing, it's three years. Yeah, like ghost hauntings only last three years, right guys? Here's the thing, he says, I'm sorry John, I made a mistake, I told you he died in the hospital, it turns out he died in the living room. Yeah, yeah. And it's, that's not the worst of it. He goes, and I know it's important to you people and your feng shui. And I'm like, you people. Before I could say anything, he says, as an apology, we're going to take $20,000 off the asking price. Oh, okay. $20,000? Yeah. Yes, my people. Oh.